Hey everybody, Adam here with Paracore. In today's video, we're gonna go over Facebook ad reach and frequency capping when you're running your Facebook ads. If you've been running ads for any period of time or you're just starting, you might know that ad frequencies can be quite complicated and a little bit difficult to manage if your audience size is too small or your audience size is too big. You're not hitting them enough or you're hitting them too much or you're serving them like two ads a day and they're just getting pissed off at you. So in today's video, I'm gonna go over how you can um, run frequency capping. I'm actually gonna show you two different ad accounts, one that has some options for frequency capping and then another that has less options because um, it doesn't have the feature enabled yet. It's not on the newer version of Facebook. And then I'm also gonna show you how to look at frequency capping and identify your frequency caps in the campaigns that you're already running. All right, so uh, this is a client account. I am starting at the create new campaign screen um, in order to just kind of uh, protect the privacy of the account. Uh, but here, this is a normal, um, a normal new campaign screen that you see, which is the guided view. Now, when I uh, go over to this other account, this is our, uh, our outdoor adventure marketing account, you're gonna see a few different, you're gonna see a slight difference here. So in this account, we have all the options here. This is help choosing an objective. And then on this second account, we have this option here, auction, and then reach and frequency. You'll see that it's only available on one of the accounts. Now this account is um, you know, a higher spender. I think it's roughly 15,000 a month. In this account, we're not running any ads currently. We usually run, you know, it was a lot less, maybe $1,000 a month, something like that, maybe 2,000. So uh, that option's not there. So depending on which uh, ad account you have access to, you may or may not have different options. So this is the one that has the, the most options with your campaigns. So if I click this guy, reach and frequency, now it reduces the number of available campaign objectives that I can run. Um, and it also shows uh, optimization and delivery there at the bottom, which doesn't exist before. So hit reach and frequency. I can hit any one of these, but I'm gonna hit, um, I'm gonna hit video views. And I, I just hit video views. I pause it for a second just to, cause there's a drop down here with a bunch of clients in it. Uh, so this is the, the interface for your ad set. Now, if you have the older version, you're going to notice even the stuff here on the right is quite a bit different. So this is being updated. As I scroll down, we have schedule, audience. I didn't, I didn't define an audience here. Uh, placements, this new placement situation is a little bit different. I keep scrolling down and down and down and down. And I chose the video campaign. I chose that because there are a few different uh, characteristics involved with video that aren't involved with just impressions. So here, now at the bottom, we have reach and frequency balance for video views, and uh, it shows me different options. And then if I click impression, so I'm charged by impression instead of video views, now it says reach and frequency balance just based on impressions. So when you have a video campaign, you can choose to limit the reach based on the number of impressions, the number of times the person sees the ad. So predict the number of people uh, who will see your ad but not who will watch your video, lock in CPM. And then if you do through play, you'll get charged when your video is watched to completion or for at least 15 seconds. So here you're optimizing on through play of 15 seconds and through play here. And, uh, or when you get charged, excuse me, here you're optimizing on through play. Here you're charged on impressions. And then I can click this guy and I can either do through play, which is 15 seconds or two second continuous video views. We'll deliver your ads to get the most views of two seconds or more. So I can hit this guy too. Um, this is changing. It used to be 10 second views, no longer available. So I'm just gonna hide this message. All right, so we have optimization for ad delivery. Choose how you want us to deliver ads to people based on what you're trying to achieve, your selection effects for your ads, um, who sees your ads to get the best results. So if you optimize for clicks, you deliver to people that are most likely to get clicks. If you're optimizing for through play, people that are most likely to watch 15 seconds. If you're optimizing for two second continuous views, then they're gonna optimize for people most likely to do two seconds. So this is the objective that Facebook is optimizing for. And then secondly, you get to choose your impression. You get to choose when you're charged. You can choose to be charged only by impressions or by through play. Uh, bid strategy and delivery type are automatic here. Your cost is fixed. We'll bid in the auction on your behalf. Automatic will pace your spending to achieve your predicted lifetime results. So you can't expedite the delivery. Now here is where you really have quite a few options for your reach and frequency balance. I'm just gonna change this to impressions. So um, balance is showing ads no more than two times every seven days. So someone will only see the, well, no one will see the ad more than twice in a seven day period. So that's like, that's the recommended frequency. So they call it balance. The recommended frequency is a balance, two every seven days. Higher reach is, um, higher reach means that it's not higher frequency, it's higher reach. You're seeing more people, but they're seeing it less often. So show ads no more than one time every seven days. Higher frequency, show ads no more than seven times every seven days. 
So that means that you'll probably have lower reach because one person can see the ad seven times over seven days. In higher reach, only one person can only see the ad one time over seven days, so it's gonna show it to more people. And then you can do custom. And it says your ads will be seen a maximum of two times per person. If I do custom here, I can say three impressions every seven days, every one day. I can customize this. So you have a lot of different options. Um, you can then increase the average frequency. So prioritize showing ads to people who will see your ads more than once. This means you'll reach fewer people, people overall. So if you're doing a frequency cap of, let's say five impressions every seven days, and your goal is for someone to see the ads more often and not less often. So let's say that you, you really want the impressions to be, uh, to be five over a seven day period. You don't want Facebook to optimize it for two impressions over seven days. You really wanna go on the higher impression side then you would click this guy and you would increase uh, the number of, and you would, you would tell Facebook to then look to serve it to, to fewer people more times over a seven day period. So these are all of your options on the reach and frequency balance. So again, um, notice that frequency is associated with the time period. So anytime you're talking about frequency, if you say, hey, you know, the frequency was uh, 3.5. Well, 3.5 over what time period? Is it 3.5 over a 30 day time period or a two week time period, a one day time period, you know, 10 days. So frequency is based on time. And I'm gonna show you that in a minute when we look at how to look at frequency. So uh, just make sure and make sure you're aware of that. And Facebook here kind of defaults to seven days, although you can change that if you want to. So this option is now available. This frequency option is now available for different types of campaign objectives if you choose the reach and frequency. So if I do, you know, brand awareness, which is a, um, a common one, then you're gonna see the exact same options for brand awareness down here at the bottom. Now, you know, obviously you don't see the video views anymore because you're doing brand awareness and you have add recall lift and you can't change this. However, these options down here, as far as reach and frequency balance are the same, but your optimization for ad delivery and when you get charged are not optional anymore because we're not looking at a video. All right, so that is your that's what um, you know the newer ad accounts look like and what you know hopefully you have in your ad account. Now this ad account is our outdoor venture marketing ad account and it does not have that option. And so now when I go to videos, you're gonna see uh, the interface is different. This is the old interface. And you're gonna see no options here for optimization. The screen is very different, right? So you have through play, uh, impression, even the descriptions are different. I mean, you just you just don't have any options here. So that's that's the video. Um, when I go back to campaign objective, I no longer have the option to do reach, and I don't have the option to to do it in these. However, if you are on this old interface, you can go to uh, reach and click this guy. And when you're on this screen now, scrolling to the bottom. Uh, now you do have some options. You have you can do the frequency cap right here, one impression every seven days, and but you don't. So I mean, it doesn't give you the defaults, which is basically you know they had two impressions every seven days was balanced. This was higher reach. And this was higher frequency, right? Those are the options that they gave us the last time. You can optimize for impressions or reach, and then you have a few different options here. You get charged on impressions, blah, blah, blah. So this is currently the only way that you can frequency cap in the old interface for the ad set manager. So if you are, if you're running on this, then you have to do a reach objective, which actually, um, you know, limits, well, I think, I think maybe you can still run all the same types of media, uh, but you, you are limited on the objective. You have to reach objective. You can't do the other ones. Um, however, if you're doing traffic, there is one other option. So something like traffic. So when you're at the traffic, and when you're the traffic ad set, you have optimization for ad delivery here. You can do link clicks, or you can do landing page views, and then here you can see daily unique reach. We'll deliver your ads up to uh, to people up to once a day. So that is an option to limit your frequency as well. So if you have a very high frequency going on, you can do daily unique reach, and it says that um, people are only going to see the ads once a day. So this is an option if you're running traffic. I think this is on conversions. It's on a number of different ad sets but you'll see that you do not have options to do any other types of frequency capping because we're in this older interface. All right, so I'm gonna close out of here. And now I'm gonna look at, so here we're looking at one month, November 1st to November 30th, and there's a column here, frequency. Uh, I'm using the performance and clicks preset. If you do performance, 
you also have frequency over here, um, or you can modify your columns and then choose frequency from the list. But what you're gonna be looking for is frequency, the frequency column. And here, uh, we're in a 30 day period and it says a frequency is 1.83, 1.23, 2.54. So this means that on average, people saw my ad 2.54 times. So that's not bad over a 30 day period. It's actually probably low over a 30 day period. If I expand this to a 90 day period, October to December, now you'll see that my retargeting frequency went up to just under 11. And that might be alarming if someone isn't familiar with how frequency works. They might say, oh man, 11 is high, but it's over a three month period. So it's really only, let's say four impressions per 30 days. And that's one impression a week. So that is not that high. You know, these are, this is three. So if you want to, um, if you want to increase the frequency, you either need to increase the budget or decrease the, the, uh, the audience size so that a smaller pool of people sees the ads more often. That's with this, with this older ad set interface. If you're on the newer interface like here, you can just change the exact frequency and then uh, do this guy in order to encourage Facebook to show the ad to more people. Uh, excuse me, short, more, more frequently to less people. All right, so that's uh, Facebook ad frequency and basically uh, how to set it, depending on which interface you're in, how to view it. Uh, Facebook does have some best practices on um, Facebook ad frequency. I forget where the link is. Hold on one second, I'm pause this. Okay, sorry about that. I wanted to make sure that I found this article. If you type Facebook frequency tool into Google, uh, I might screen here cut off a little bit. And then there's this effective frequency reaching full campaign potential. It's from 2016. This is a Facebook article. Um, effective, so if you just type in this in Google, you'll find it. This goes over a frequency, a frequency study that they did in 2016 and um, basically determining how often people should see your ads. And the result is, you know, um, there was substantial benefit of a higher frequency cap for purchase intent with a frequency cap of two per week, capturing 90% of the total potential brand lift. So like two per week seems to be the optimized frequency and that's what they also have in their ad set um, in their ad set settings. So uh, that, that seems to be, you know, whatever, based on this study from 2016. There's a nice chart here. Ad recall tends to increase based on ad frequency of two. So, you know, if the ad frequency is low, so let's say the frequency is one, ad recall is 80%. Um, and purchase intent is a little bit lower as well. Excuse me, blue is purchase intent but they both align kind of at two and then you get no incremental benefit after three. So that's interesting. All right, that's all I got for you. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know, comment. Uh, let me know if you liked the video. Let me know if you thought the video sucked. I'd appreciate that too. And uh, thanks for watching. See you next video.